Okay, this video is a quick introduction to VBA using Microsoft Access. VBA, of course, standing for Visual Basic for Applications. What this tutorial is going to show you how to do is create two forms, one called first form, one called second form, and on each of these get a, have a button that will then perform an action. In this case, what can happen is when I click on first form, it is going to close, so this button here on first on, on the first form which says go to form 2 it's going to close the first form and then open the second form so when I click on this what we'll notice is it's now changed, it's gone into second form loaded that up on the screen and the other one is closed this button here does the opposite closes the second form and opens up the first form so that's the process we're going to look at and go through today so what we're going to do is just get access up and running to start with so start all programs databases Access. Now, the first thing you got to remember with Access is that it always wants you to create the file first. We're going to create a blank Access database, and we're going to save that into our documents. So let's just save it in here, and obviously give it a sensible name. This is you know opening and closing, closing forms. So. So we're going to leave that one as, and then click the create button. Okay, we don't want to use any tables for this, but we want to create some forms. We're just going to use blank forms, makes our life a bit easier. So I've got my first form. First thing I'm going to do is just save it. And I'm just going to, obviously a good file name. Call it first form. I'm going to change myself into design view. I'm just going to add a label. modify this a little bit by just editing the fonts Ooh, where's it going? design tab, there we go nice and big, if you need to resize it just click on the outside and just double click to resize or you can drag it next part we're going to add is just a little button pops up with the wizard, we're just going to cancel out of that. F2 opens up the command window, sorry, rename, so we can change the name of this, we'll just give it an appropriate title. Go to the second form, once again, don't see anything, double click, resizes it. So that's the first form complete, going to save that, and to save myself having to remake it, copy and paste the object, and call it the second form reopen it, so now I've got the first form open and the second form, and we're just going to back into design view, edit this. Second form, and then once again on this button, go to first form. So now I've got these two finished, and I'm going to go into my, back to my first form, and I want to get this button to carry out an event. There are a few ways we can do this, but the easiest way, just go into event, unclick, click on the ellipses, we're going to use the code builder. So anytime we want to add code, we want to use the code builder. And now what we need to do is go and add in our code to go and open and close these forms. So whenever we're performing actions to do with an entire object in Access, we use the do command function. We use dot notation, so do command, do something with it. And the first thing we're going to do is close. Then we have a space. AC form is the you know default type, so access form is what that is short for. And then me means the current object, and dot name gets us the name of it. So that will get the current form that's open and get its name and close it. So effectively, we're giving it two arguments. Next step, another command, do command. This time we want to open a form and we want to give it just the name of the form that we want to open. If I switch back to access, I can see the name of the form I want is second form. What you might want to do is press F2 to copy and paste. F2 and then copy it, just so you can get the spelling right, because if you get the spelling wrong, 
Right, with a space in there, it's not going to work. So now I've got that first button working. I'm just going to save that. And just close the Visual Basic Editor. Now, what I'm going to do is actually just go and actually, we're just going to reuse our code. So let's just go back into our Visual Basic Editor. And so, so I'm back in the Visual Basic Editor. I'm going to copy all that text. Let's just minimize it, go into our second form. When it opens up, it opens it up into form view. We need to change to design view. Click on go to first form, back on the event tab. Use the code builder, opens it up again. We can tell we're on the second form here because it's form underscore second form. And I'm just going to paste this in. But at the moment, this will take us to this still to the second form. So I'm just going to change that to first form. Save it all. Yep. Close it. Close the for both forms. I'm going to reopen first form. And what we can tell is when I'm clicking the buttons, it's alternating between the two. So we've got a little bit of navigation going through. What we can do is you know apply this to other situations. So you can create an entire menu system, and that's what I'm going to suggest as being your first activity is you know create a menu system that lets you browse through a bunch of different objects.